Hello, over the next two nights I'm going to image the Pelican Nebula and the North American Nebula. I'm Rob and this is Seven Skies Astro. So, what the plan of action is, is to capture four panels of three hours each over the next two nights and this video is going to be slightly different because I'm going to show you how I stitched them together in Pix and Sight. So stay with me and I'll see you in a minute. Now I will be using the same equipment I used to capture the Veil Nebula mosaic in the 72 head. Everything's exactly the same, it's just that I've just want to change targets now. So I'm going to get on a computer when it goes dark and uh, show you exactly what I'm doing. So here I am just doing a little recording. This is my target for my next mosaic. It's the Pelican Nebula IC 5070, which is actually there, but you also got the California Nebula. And that's what I'm going to catch in a four panel mosaic. Now, what I plan on doing, and there's my first image, what I plan on doing is I will take 18, 305 minutes with my extreme, and uh, hopefully I'm going to image all the way up to the last knockings. And each panel after another, so all these will be of the same sky, which is three quarters moon at the minute. It's supposed to be clear tomorrow. We'll see. And what I'll do, I will do the same sequence again. And hopefully, because I'm doing three of the seconds, it's an hour and a half. I'll have three hours per pain again. And um, that should, and that's the first, well, that's the second sub. There's this trail go through there, but that's not bad. You can see plenty of dust for a five minute with the um, LX Extreme. I'm not quite pleased with that. And hopefully, as time goes over the next two nights, I can get. The hours in, 12 hours worth of data because it goes quite, um, as you can see, you've got pretty much twilight. You've only actually got three and a half hours worth of dark skies, it's saying here. And there's me rising line, what I put in. But yes, it's, it's, it's looking not too bad. And as I say, I quite like that. Um, sub i think it looks quite quite nice guiding is going well three four seven declarations and the slight so i'm hoping the stars will be i'm slightly under sampling again but they're not bad they're going to go square but once in the mosaic i'm hoping to get some real good data So, here we are in Pixon site. I just run through what I've done to make my mosaic. First of all, I stacked all my images like so, and there they are now. Now, what I found was that all these images, the not quite the same stretch back there so if I look at this one there I'm going script and easy soft stretch and I stretch them all so the star point is there there's one of them that it's it's not even close I think it might be this one actually oh sorry wrong one I want that uh, Uh, 
yeah you see it's 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 off there so I just increased the aggressiveness so they're all just starting on that point so I highly recommend you should do that is soft stretch all them so they're non-linear and after that the thing you have to do is uh, image solve all the pictures so what I've done is put the files in of each one of them planes put them all in and the metadata is already in it because I was captured in Nina it seems it's already in it and I just run that now that takes about five ten minutes depending on your um, computer this is quite a slow one so after that it'll put all your registered files here which are these panes that's all registered by the coordinates and once you've registered the coordinates you've solved the image you need to register the coordinates and that is under scripts mosaic mosaic by coordinates and there are them wcs files that have just been solved now again this is another process that takes a little bit of time uh, you click OK and it'll be about five minutes or so. Um, but just let it run its course and, and that will give you registered files which uh, are these ones here. I'll just go down to the next one. That's them ones. I just open them up and you can see what they look like. There are the images, and that's what they'll come out as. Four files, all registered where they're going to sit in the mosaic. Let's close them down, I don't need them. Then after that, it's just a simple process of going on to all the processes, gradient, merge, mosaic. Now, you just... Add your files, which are these registered ones. So obviously I've got one, two, move that down a little bit, three, four. I'd open them. Now there's different combinations. These some recommend uh, leaving at default. Some don't. Some say overlay. Um, the shrink radius a lot between six and eight I tend to use a feather radius of around about 85 and that will put all these panes together and um, hopefully you'll get your mosaic image if all being well And there you have the image. Now, obviously, you can just um, carry on with your normal workflow, crop it, and do whatever I usually do. And that's what I did do. I'll leave the image at the end of this video. Um, I'd also like to say that what I did do is I done um, sulfur, a nice of sulfur. And there's uh, the sulfur image I managed to get. Now it's not the not the best because we've had a full moon. But what I did, I just extracted the luminance. I don't need that, and used the luminance in me shoe image sulfur hydrogen oxygen and I merged them all together to make um, let's see I made a who image 
and the shoe with Majelica. And this is a solid shoe. I think this is the. And there, that's the image I um, ended up with. By, let's get that out of the way. By adding the sulfur, extracting the oxygen from the first image you've seen, and com combining the green 70% to 80% blue because the blue channel is very noisy and combine them all and get this image and give it a little process you'll see the image at the end of this video so that's basically what i've done to make the mosaic i hope you find this video helpful and a, a little bit of my workflow in doing this um and i'll catch you next time and thank you very much for watching this video and if you give it a like and a thumbs up i'd be much appreciated so until next time Yes, guys.